tomorrow is Thai person. You all don't know, right? Because it's not a public holiday. Hey, I know you're gonna chew chew your mouth and climb button keys, right? Well, at least he didn't confuse it with Deepavali. Congratulations, you get an award for that. You get an award. You get an award. But here's the thing, right? Most people actually don't know much about Thai Pusam, which is one of the largest Indian religious festivals celebrated in the region, and it brings in so many tourists. Don't worry, I got you. By the end of this video, you Thai Pusam pro already. Start 2020 smart, okay? or more commonly known as the festival in Malaysia where Indians climb Batu Keys and chuchuk chuchuk their faces is actually celebrated to honour the day Goddess Parvati gave her son Lord Murugan a divine spear, the veil to destroy the evil demon Surya Padma. One of the most fascinating things about Thai Pusam in Slango is the 14km-ish pilgrimage walk that devotees make while carrying various offerings to be presented to Lord Murugan. Those offerings, right, the ones you see people carrying on their heads and shoulders, they're called Kavadis. Kavadis are carried as an act of gratitude, penance, or, you know, for wishes to be granted. It could be for healing, education, or babies even, you know, for like couples who are struggling to have kids. Okay, so a kavadi is basically a form of physical burden that devotees carry during Thai Pusam. And the simplest form of kavadi is usually a wooden arch that's decorated with images of Lord Murugan, peacock feathers, flowers. But of course, now you can see uh, people have gotten a really um, a creative, la, very modern. So, you know, sometimes a kavadi will have LED lights, la, don't know what, like Team Lamen United, la, don't know what they got to do with Thai Pusam, but okay. Other forms of kavadis are pal and paneer kavadi. Pal kavadi is basically a pot of milk and paneer kavadi is a pot filled with sanctified water. These will be used for prayers once the devotees reach the temple. The reason for it is pretty much the same. Penance, wishes, gratitude. But you know what? Initially, devotees would just pierce their tongue with like a small whale to keep silent and focus on the worship. But in the reason, you know, in the past few decades, things have kind of evolved and changed. So now you can see people with hooks on their backs where there are weights attached to it. So it could be like pots of milk, holy ash, lime. Also, did you know that people say, uh, these devotees, right, when they get their um, skin and like bodies pierced, right, under a state of trance, they like hardly feel any pain. They don't really bleed much nor does it leave any scarring. So it's not like they're going to walk around with like, you know, holy bags. Uh, holy, holy, holy. Just a little reminder, please be a bit more respectful and sensitive when trying to understand religious practices you may not fully understand. So don't go uh, run around asking your Indian friends, hey, chuchuk, chuchuk, oh my god, hey, darah, takutnya. Don't litter, please. There are so many tong sampah. Either you buang kat dalam tu, or you keep it with yourself. If not, ah, kau baik buang diri kau dah tong sampah tu. Jangan jadi sampah masyarakat. Don't park sesuka hati. Ini bukan jalan bapa engkau eh. Either take public transportation or park in proper parking places lah. If not, you'll disrupt traffic. Also, don't charge for parking in places you don't own. I am watching you. Stop pushing people. It's a festival. There's a lot of people around. Be patient. Also, guys, totally cool if you want to document all this cool stuff that's going on. But please be respectful of the devotees and the rituals. Ah, it's a very spiritual, intimate moment. Wow, my God, so interesting. Come take selfie. Please shower, wear deodorant, ah. have some respect for other people's nose. I know it's going to be hot and you're going to sweat, but start clean. Ah. Don't fight with strangers or show up drunk. And that's it! Happy Thai Pusam! Don't fight with strangers or show up drunk. The reason for it... If you want to take photographs of, you know... Uh, the reason... Okay, okay. I get it.